Hey guys, Serpent X here. Uh, I got a short video for you. Basically, I got another 1070, Zotac 1070. I ordered this in January during that mining craze from December going into January where all the cards went to slim pickings. Picked this guy up for $389, but I bought it before Amazon sold out. So they had to sell it to me at that price. And because I kept bugging them, I was like, hey, where's my shipment? Where's my shipment? Where's my shipment? I got it, one day shipping, $389. Uh, sad that it's still MSRP after two years of being on the shelf or two years since it's been out. But I wanted to show you this real quick. So if you add another card and my nest got even bigger, that, that's dangerous, this is dangerous. No burns, I'm not using any Molex, uh, no wires are burning up, no craziness, but just the organization itself is enough to make somebody with OCD go crazy. So, sorry if you have OCD, but this is my setup until I get an official mining frame or build my own. So, I had a connection. Let's see if I can show it to you. I had a connection that was Molex right there. And it was going to connect to the new 1070. But if you watch Son of a Tech, or if you pay attention to any mining riser card issues, that's bad. The Molex can't handle the 75 watts or whatever, 66 watts that is supposed to pull through the PCI. So, instead, that Molex adapter is running my fan controller and the hard drive down here. And then I have another official SATA cable. I have backups just in case that's running off of this power supply because this power supply is at its limit. The 750 watt here in this corner is at its limit. This is a 550. So I decided to run the last 1070 off of this 550 and the next two cards are probably gonna run off of the 750. It's kind of balancing the, the power distribution, so to speak. When you add a new card to your system, it's going to reset your MSI afterburner. Now, of course, I plug these in here. Focus. But all my other cards, I got to plug in all my presets. They're all blanked out. So I have a list. And you can make yourself one, too, of all the presets that you need to do. 1070 needs to be 75 watt TDP, core 200, mem 600. But then I have a Zotac 1060 and an EVGA 1060. And those two, with some fine tuning, have two different kind of settings. So the TDP on the 1060 for EVGA is 65%, where it is on the Zotac is 74. So I gotta find out which one is which. Here's a simple test to figure out which one is which. You select the card. You turn the fan all the way up. After you turn off auto, because I'm an idiot and you hit the little check and you listen with your ear that is the EVGA one so now we can put it back on auto and you should be setting an aggressive fan curve which I already have one preset to keep the temps in check so now, now that we know that that's the EVGA one we could go ahead and set the TDP now I know I said 65 but I'm gonna go 70, temp limit 78 or lower, and the clocks and the mems are all great for these Pascal cards. I'm always hitting 200 on the core, 600 on the memory, and I know I could go probably a little bit higher, uh, or, uh, well, honestly, for the best power savings, these cards like 200 and 600, 200 core, 600 mem, TDP vary, you know that varies, so you can open up hardware. Um, info and kind of fine tune it. I don't need to because I already know where these cards sit. Uh, actually, I will need to open it up because I got a new 1070 and it might like certain settings. So I'm going to have to configure that. But the main part of this video is to show you that when you get yourself a new card and you slap it into your system, the system automatically picked it up. Like Windows did its thing. We already have the latest NVIDIA drivers. Yeah, the screen went black. It came back on and boom. I did have to stop because my computer set up to as soon as it restarts, it starts awesome mining and starts mining. But because it did that, it didn't have time to include the new 1070. So I stopped it, 
I exited uh, Auto Miner, I exited MSI Afterburner, reopened them, and it detected the new card, no problem. So now it's all about fine tuning. So you're gonna have to, you know, put your new card in there, figure out where it likes to sit, what settings it likes, TDP, core clock, memory clock, and you're gonna have to reconfigure your afterburner. So simply adding another card to the system, if I get another one here, and I'm gonna be waiting for the new GPUs coming out later this summer, one here and one down in the actual uh, PCI by 16 slot. And that's gonna be max that I can hold in this system with Windows 10. But I'm also gonna plan on getting an HP server power supply because I have the cables for a breakout board in that box. So once that comes in, I won't have to worry about power. It'll be stable, it'll be correctly connected. I won't have to worry about these adapters burning up. Everything's good. Just in case they do burn up, there is a hole in the bottom part of this case. So in case it does burn up, at least it's gonna fall in the metal. And this little lip right here will catch it if the wires decide to go that far. But have homeowner's insurance. If you don't have homeowner's insurance, you're living in your parents' basement, uh, you know, risk of causing a fire and burning down the house is real. Uh, it's not as retarded as uh, scooters. Uh, what is it? Joey, what's your uh, your thing called? Hoverboard. The hoverboard issue where you keep, you leave it charging and it'll burn up. It's not as bad as that, but this is dangerous if you're using Molex adapters or any type of cheap, cheaply made adapter. So be careful guys. Good luck and plug in your new card. Adjust your settings, fine tune with hardware info, and you'll be good to go. I wanted to add one more thing real quick. Um, in MSI Afterburner, the order of which the GPUs are, are completely different than the order of which the GPUs are in Awesome Miner, and I think hardware info. So the only hard part about this is figuring out which GPUs are what. So we got uh, 1070, then 1060, then 1070, then 1060, then 1070, then 980Ti. But in MSI Afterburner, the 980Ti is, if you focus, first. And then in Hardware Info, the 980Ti, the 1070 is first. So uh, Hardware Info and Awesome Mine are on the same page. MSI Afterburner is not. So different programs have the GPUs numbered in different orders. All it is is um, the 980Ti is connected to the by 16 slot with uh, a little adapter. Then I have the UBIT for, uh, for you know, it converts uh, one PCI by one into four USB. And then I have the new 1070 connected to its own uh, by one slot down there. So. Be careful of that. Your GPUs are going to be ordered differently between programs, so double check your settings and your configuration. That's it for this short video. Like, share, subscribe, and comment below, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. It's just that easy. It took me what, hon? 15 minutes? She's, she's useless. I love her, but she's useless. 15 minutes of my time, and I had the card up and running. Now I'm just setting up my configuration, and then I'm gonna fine tune. 20 minutes, all right, 20 minutes of your time. All you gotta do is plug in a new card, fine tune, set it up, and start mining again.